It's been a minute. I'm sorry. I haven't posted a new video in a little bit. I apologize. I would like to have a good excuse like I had some major life change or I was really going through something or I was working on something and didn't want to get it out. But the truth is I'm just lazy. I'm, I'm just lazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm lazy. YouTube is hard. And we're not there yet. So, I know a lot of you here follow me for my Halo content, and I have some bad news on that. Um, I got bored with Halo, I'll be honest. I finished the Battle Pass, and a new Battle Pass isn't coming out until May. So, whenever there's a new event or something like that, I'll hop in, I'll play, I'll try it out. But for now, I've switched. So, we're switching to Minecraft and Apex Legends Split. Half-time Minecraft, half-time Apex Legends. And I thought a good piece of content to start for Apex Legends, because I love Apex Legends, is my tips for how to get out of bronze. I know most people watching this video will go, bronze is so easy to get out of. <laughs> and that's that's correct. Uh, bronze is very easy to get out of if you know what you're doing. You have to at least have a little bit of knowledge. Uh, if you just are brand new and getting in, it may be difficult. It'll still not be super long, but you should be able to get out of bronze with some of the tips I'm about to give you. Be sure to watch the video till the end and leave a like. It just helps with the algorithm and I've got good tips throughout. So first, I think if you're in bronze, um, you are either brand new to the game or you don't dedicate a lot of time to it. Maybe it's frustrating for you. Uh, maybe you're getting back into it. Either way, I think what you need to do is you need to devote a solid chunk of time to ranked when you're in bronze. Um, it needs to be probably about two or three hours when you start. Uh, I would spend a little bit of that time in the fire range. Just pick up guns, play with them, see what they feel like. Just, just get... I always, I always start with a couple of minutes in the fire range. Not a ton of time, you don't have to go through a thousand rounds of ammo, um, but just a, just a few targets just to make yourself kind of get warmed up. And then it's good to play for a little bit of time because you kind of start to get into a rhythm, you kind of start to uh, feel the game a little better, and with getting out of bronze, um, that's what you need to start with. You need to start with a solid base, you need to start with just understanding game sense and getting your feet on you, right? Second, don't get disturbed. So, bronze is super easy. If you don't know the rank point system, this would be a good time to throw up the little, the little graphic that they have, you know what I'm saying? Where the rank point system rewards kills, also rewards uh, placement, which I'll get to later. That's a big key. But the way it works is the higher up the ranks you go, the more RP, rank points, each game costs. So if you're in bronze, it costs zero rank points. You are all, you're never going to lose rank points. But if you go up to silver, it costs 12 rank points per game. If you don't do better than 12 rank points at the end of the game, you lose rank points and you go negative. So in bronze, there's literally no consequence to doing bad. You don't lose points. Um, I would say don't get discouraged. Have fun with it, right? Do some hot drops here and there. You don't have to rat everything out. Uh, all that matters is you're having fun. Tip number three. I didn't count the first two, but tip number three. Uh, live. If you want to not enjoy the game, but rank up, drop somewhere far away from people, stay on the outer edge of the circle the whole time, and just live. This would be a good time to point the rank point system up, um, but it rewards most for your placement. So you do get multipliers for your kills or KP, um, which I can also get into later, but uh, it rewards you for placement. So the higher you place, the more points you get, and you have to have no skill at all to start placing high. I mean, you can definitely get in the top five, if not top three, without ever encountering another team. It is a miserably boring way to play, but if all you want to do is rank up, it's a good way to do it. So, uh, Apex can be very frustrating. Apex can be incredibly frustrating with random. So, point number four is I would suggest um, playing with friends. And I know not everybody else has friends. I know, like, even I, I have a solid squad that I play with in other games, but a lot of them don't like Apex. So, it is tough to find people to play with. So, um, there's a couple of easy options uh, just for this video, for me alone. Um, we have a Discord that has a whole channel dedicated to Apex where you can find people to play with. Um, we also have a club. Is it called a club? Romeo, what's it called? Is it called a club? I think it's called a club. What's the, what it, you know what I'm talking about? In Apex? Put it on the screen. We have a club, there we go, uh, where you can join and then you'll see other people in the club online. Maybe you invite them, maybe they join, maybe you guys have fun together. I play every Saturday, twitch.tv slash tbone5797. Um, if you guys want to come and hang out, it would be a lot of fun um, and you can play for free. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to do anything. It's completely free um, and we just get some games in and mo I'm gonna be honest, most of y'all are better than me, but it's always fun. So there's three easy ways to, to, to play with friends and I just say play with friends because um, if you're playing with people you know, it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. You'll feel more comfortable speaking up, making call outs, stuff like that, and then you just, you have fun, and it's a good way to bond with people. Um, I love Apex. I love Apex with friends. 
Solo queuing Apex does kill your soul. If you're in bronze, you should be trying out new legends. If you only have the six that you start with, that's fine. Try them all, play with them all. Don't just pick Wraith because you see all the sweaty Wraith mains, play as Wraith and play sweatily. Pick somebody else, just try it out. There's literally no consequences in bronze, we've covered it before. But try out all the legends because you may find somebody that you really like that you didn't think you would. For instance, I love Caustic and Fuse. It's because I'm a simple-minded boy and they have very easy abilities and that's who i like um uh, maggie's cool she's just she just came out save up your little red tokens whatever they're called and use those on legends um don't use those on anything else but use those on legends i would suggest before you buy any apex packs you should buy all the legends if you're gonna spend money on the game which you don't have to you're gonna spend the money on the game buy the legends first because a lot of them everybody's got a different style and you may like one and not the other so while you're in bronze, while you don't have any consequences, try out all the legends. And last but not least, I wouldn't focus on... So, one thing I see that's a problem is people focusing on loot, where they can only play with a flatliner, they can only play with an R301, or, or whatever, right? Don't do that. Make it to where you are accessible to all the guns, but don't rely on it too much. I suggest you pick, like, two or three that you make yourself comfortable with. But if you can't find those, pick up something else. It's not the end of the world. You can definitely do other stuff. Um, but yeah, pick up the guns, pick up throwables. No one uses throwables like they should. Uh, grenades, arc stars, thermites, this is the word I'm looking for. Uh, throw that shit at people all the time. That's just, just yay, and then your life will be easier. Anyway, I'm sorry for my hiatus. I hope you guys liked the fun little transition we put in there. That's new, that's, I'm excited for that. Um, I'm sorry for my hiatus. We are back. We're gonna start posting again. Be on the lookout for shorts, uh, full length videos, and check me out on Twitch. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. I would love to talk to you. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to thank Romeo for making the good content that he does. Bye guys.